Hello everyone. Hope you're having a uh, lovely blessed day. I want to let my uh, subscribers know if you haven't heard of a company called Upstart Holdings. It's pretty popular, but if you haven't heard of it, let me give you the news about it. Ticker is UPST and it's trading right now at $28.45 off its 52 week high of $401 and the 52 week low is $22 so it is at the very bottom institutional ownership is 47.76 percent the earnings per share is a dollar 81 cents and the PE is 15.72 really good uh, the market cap is 2.41 billion the one-year target is $31.29. And what the company does is it, together with its subsidiaries, operates as a cloud-based artificial intelligence lending platform in the United States. Its platform aggregates consumer demand for loans and connects it to its network of the company's AI-enabled bank partners. The company was founded in 2020, no, 2012, and is headquartered in San Mateo, California. The float is only 70 million. That's pretty low. Comparatively, for the market cap being like 2 billion, that's a low float. Um, let's see what else. Return on assets is 4.26%. Return on equity is 12.34%. Profit margin of 8.46%. Operating margin 8.95%. Total revenue is $1.07 billion. Uh, I can never say quarterly. Oh, I just said it. Quarterly revenue growth year over year is 16.70%. 16.70%. Pretty good. They gross 734 million and they net 90 million. Yeah, so their revenue as I stated uh which is 16%. Look at 2020. They were just at like 200 million in revenue and just in one year in 2021 they went to over 800 million so that's pretty good just in one year let me give you the latest news on upstart upstart delivered diluted adjusted earnings of one cent per share in the second quarter 2022 which compared favorably with the Zach's consensus estimate of a loss of five cents per share. In the year ago period, the company reported diluted adjusted earnings of 62 cents. Revenues of 228 million were up 18% on a year over year basis, surpassing the consensus mark by 0.07%. Revenues were positively impacted by a solid surge in revenue from fees. In the second quarter, revenue from fees was $258 million and was up 38% year over year. However, revenue from fees was down 18% sequentially due to a difficult macroeconomic environment, which led to funding constraints in the company's marketplace. The company reported a loss of $30.183 million in the net interest income segment compared with revenues of 6.65 million in the year ago quarter. Upstart entered into multiple loan sale transactions, some of which incurred a negative fair value impact at the valuation. Marks of certain loan continued to be negative, negatively impacted by the rising interest rate environment. In the second quarter, volume of loan transactions across the company's platform was approximately 321,000 loans, up 12% year over year, and representing over 233,000 new borrowers. In the second quarter, bank partners originated 321,138 loans, 
totaling 3.3 billion across the company's platform, up 12% year over year. Conversion on rate requests was 13% in the second quarter of 2022, down from 24% in the year ago quarter. Average loan size increased over the last quarter by 5% due to auto loans, representing a higher proportion of the mix. Total operating expenses were $260 million, which increased 64.9% year-over-year due to growth in engineering and product development expenses. Second quarter adjusted EBITDA of $5.5 million contracted from the year-ago quarter's figure of $59.49 million. Adjusted EBITDA margin in the second quarter was 2% compared with the year-ago quarter's margin of 31%. As of June 30th, 2022, Upstart reported 790 million in unrestricted cash compared with 758 million as of March 31st, 2022. The balance of loans at the end of June 30th, 2022 was 624 million compared with 597 million as of March 31st, 2022. Cash outflow from operations was 320 million in the second quarter compared with first quarter 2022's cash outflow of 266 million. The guidance for the third quarter of 2022, Upstart expects revenue of approximately 170 million and adjusted EBITDA of zero. The company expects adjusted net loss of 9 million for the third quarter. So there you have it, Upstart gave you some information quick little info about it let me know what you all think are you going to buy it at 28 or just watch out for it i'm going to do that i'm just going to keep an eye on it and maybe grab a few we'll see all right have a blessed night everybody take care bye